guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Ubuntu 20.04 on your Raspberry Pi 4. And for this process, you are going to need an Ethernet cable. So, just keep that in mind. So first, we're going to need the Raspberry Pi Imager from their website. And like always, it will be in my description. So, just download it for Windows or if you're using a Mac, just download it for Mac. And install it. Okay, after you install it... Just open it up. And click choose OS. And on choose OS, I'm going to pick Ubuntu. And I'm going to choose, look, there's a 32-bit one. But I would definitely recommend using 64-bit. It's just better. And you, you can use more of the RAM and stuff. So I'm going to use 64-bit. Then I'm going to choose SD card. And I'm going to choose this. That's my SD card. And I'm just going to click right and wait till it finishes. Okay, so you see now it says it has been written to the SD card. So I'll just say continue. And we're done. So, like always, I want to overclock so I can get better performance. But remember, you need a fan to do this. So always have a fan if you're going to overclock. So, we need to just take out the SD card, plug it back in, see, so, now let's open up, we have boot right here, and I'm going to go to config.txt, and I'm just going to place it right here at the bottom, just going to place, oops, I'm just gonna go arm fre frequency equals 2000 GPU frequency equals 750 and I'm gonna go over voltage equals 6 and I'm just gonna go save and close it up so now you can take out your SD card plug in your Raspberry Pi and plug in your Ethernet cable and power it up yeah so now I booted Ubuntu up and I got to this screen you see so you press enter and it says Ubuntu login the default um, login password is Ubuntu then you press enter and then it's again Ubuntu and again you have to type in Ubuntu now change the password to whatever you want okay so you see now I've changed it and it came to this screen so it will be easier for me so I'm just gonna go over to my PC and do it but first I'm gonna find out the IP address Okay, so it says I need to install the net tools, so I'm just, I'll just do this and I'll come back on my PC. Okay, so now I'm back on my PC and I'm, I'm just going to type in CMD and I'm just going to type SSH Ubuntu at 192, whatever your IP address is. I'm going to click yes and type in the password you created okay so I'm here and I have this little text folder but all of this will be in the description so I'm just gonna copy this and it's just gonna clone this this is a new way to do it and you get way better performance if you use this way Yeah, so then I'm going to install the Ubuntu desktop, but instead of Ubuntu, you can install Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Ubuntu Budgie, Ubuntu Kylin, all of these things. So you can just pick what one you like the most. Just hit enter. 
and it's just going to install all of this stuff. So just wait for this to finish. It will take a few minutes. Okay, so now mine finished. It did take around like 20 minutes or something, so it does take a while. So now it's finished. So now just go sudo reboot and then it should boot up into Ubuntu. Okay, so you see it booted up and it's at the login screen. So I just press Ubuntu and I type in the password that I made earlier. Okay, so now it just comes to this thing. You can connect your account if you want to. I don't really want to. I'm just going to next. Um, you can send info if you want to. And you can turn that on if you want to. And you can just done. So there is some update, but I'm just going to install that later. So you see, I have Ethernet. And there, we're getting really good performance here. It's really nice. And we have this, all these apps come in here. We have the Snap Store. So we can install different apps that are on the Snap Store. Um, see, we have Super Tux. We can use Snap Store like this. Really nice. We also got Firefox installed. You can also inst install Chromium if you like that more. But. And. It works too. It might be a little slow at the beginning, but. Just. See. YouTube works. And here's Amazon. Oops. And you can go Reddit. I mean, it works nice, nicely. See, you see, it loads up. It all works. So if we just close that out. close yeah so we can also go control alt t and that will open up the terminal for us you can install different stuff from here you see it's nice um we have libra office and all that stuff in here we have a mail thing we got the file explorer it looks pretty nice actually i like the way it looks yeah so this is ubuntu i hope you i hope you like this video and i hope you subscribe